After a brutal outcome in the previous series against Denver, Arizona State was ready to rebound against the number 18 team in the country, Clarkson. Now the Golden Knights aren't necessarily known for their offense, but more for their defense. Clarkson has allowed some of the fewest goals in the country and entering the matchup against Arizona State, they were spotted at number five in the country for goals allowed per game, allowing less than two goals a game on average. But ASU won the joust against the Golden Knights in game one, hanging four goals on the board. I mean, I, you know, we, we played well. It's a really, really good team that we just beat. Again, you know, another really good team that we played. Um, and then I told the guys, we, we were good tomorrow to win. We're going to have to be even better because they're going to be, they're going to want to get, get a win coming all the way out here. And they've been out here since Tuesday. And, and you know, they're we're probably going to get their very best tomorrow. And we're going to have to show them ours if we're going to sweep them. Arizona State was back in Oceanside here tonight to take on the Clarkson Golden Knights. They have a high-powered offense, but Ben Cross for the Sun Devils did a good job in net. He had to have a solid performance, and he had a handful of saves once again for Arizona State. Yeah, he was he was he was solid. I, I didn't like the first and, and the second goals though, um, but we found a way, and and uh, and you know he made some saves when he had to, and, and we got a win. That's all. That's all we can ask out of our goalies. Did you know put us in a position to win, and, and he did. Ben Cross may have had a great performance for ASU, but Clarkson fifth round draft pick Ethan Hader was pulled out of the cage at the 32 minute mark after a bundle of Sun Devil shots found the back of the net. One of them coming from sophomore Ryan O'Reilly. I don't know, I think that their goalie was pretty shaky all night. I mean, Grando got that one rebound right away, so I thought I just might pick his corner off that shot, so it ended up working out good. After capturing the 4-3 victory in Game 1, the Sun Devils will don their jerseys once again on December 11th and prepare for battle at Oceanside against the Golden Knights. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Ethan Tuttle.